Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. Today we are looking at J color choosers. Now, what is a J color chooser, you may ask? Well, it is simply just this. Um, so here I set up a uh, basic graphical layout and I have a button up here. Now, as you can see, the basic color is black, right? You know, that's pretty basic color here. So I'm gonna click this button and it's gonna bring up this dialog box. So instead of, you know, like previous videos, I did like a uh, file chooser. It's essentially the same thing. It allows for a user to manually pick a color uh, and, you know, store it into some variable. Um, now, uh, so I can click OK and voila, I got a new color and it set the uh, background and foreground uh, color of, um, you know, the panel and the uh, J text thing and the button yeah so it got all this now what's kind of cool is I mean it's I mean aside from being really awesome uh, I actually haven't really found as much functionality for it but it's actually really really useful to know just in case you wanted some customizable options um, so there's uh, uh, so this is how I basically set it up here so I created a panel called a top panel, created a button, uh, and I labeled it saying change colors as you see right here. Um, and so I just had a basic font thing and I just, you know, set the size and the text and whatever of the font down here. Uh, so, uh, so basically what I have here is I added an action listener to the button so when it is pressed, it is going to uh, open up this you know, create a J file, uh, J color chooser up here, and also create an OK listener for that J color chooser. So, as you can see right here, um, if I press OK, it's listening for this. So, if I press OK, it's going to activate this set of code down here. And so, uh, here I uh, have set up a J dialog box thing over here and I assign it to a J color chooser because that's a type of dialog that you can apply to one of those dialog box and so as you can see here um, these are just the different properties and this is like for example the uh, title of this um, chooser thing uh, so yeah it says pick a color and it says pick a color down here and so by all means pick a color and uh, yeah so and I added this OK listener to this J color, you know, this, the OK listener, because you can add listeners to, um, you know, when you create dialogue, you have all these Boolean options, and you can add listeners to the options, and I just add this OK listener up here. So, and that's what I added to it. So, uh, right now, I set the J color chooser to a specific color. Now, essentially, what you could do here, you could manually set the panels by, like, you know, set background. Instead of putting C there, you could say new color, you know, you know, instead of placing C, which is the color up here, you could just put that there and it would automatically change it. But in the case that the user wants to actually set something, you know, you can do this. So it's currently going to set the color. So whenever I click this, it's automatically going to set it up with that specific RGB uh, color palette that I set up. Um... And I made sure that it is actually visible. So when you, because it kind of itself is its own application. Um, and so after you pr uh, press OK, what it does is create a new color. And so it uh, acquires the color that you chose from that color chooser. And then I set it to the background, the foreground, and the background again. So I set the background of the top panel, which is you know, the panel that's uh, up here. And I set the uh, the text field uh, foreground to this. So here I'm showing off that you can actually set the uh, background and foreground, the foreground being anything not the background, so text that is on screen. So if I said, um, so if I did change p color dot set uh, foreground to C, um, and I, of course, restart this uh, wonderful program here, and I rerun it. Um, and of course, when I choose the color again, it's gonna uh, change the 
um, change color, whatchamacallit, up here. Uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, so it's going to be changing the text color on the button to red, or the whatever color I, I chose. Um, so yes, this shows the basic functionality of that. Um, so yeah, so basically, yeah, actually, believe it or not, that's actually pretty much it. I mean, of course, you have a bunch of different like options to it, like um, that gets a little bit more complex and a little bit annoying, where you can specify which tabs you want open, or um, you know, just a little bit more amazing things, I guess you can do with it. And so, yeah, this just shows, uh, tells you what this looks like for like highlight stuff, or you know, for borders and all this other stuff. So, which is kind of neat. So, yeah, this is basically it. This is actually a J color chooser, and it works pretty well. Um, it's actually adds a little bit of customizability uh, to the uh, to your program, you know. Um, or, I mean, of course, you could do a manual way and just at giving an option of, you know, basic color palettes. So, like, if I just clicked a button and said red, you know, it would set the panel to red, you know. So actually, I should probably do that right now. So, so if I create a new J button, I'm gonna call it set red. There's a new J button. Set change to red. Okay, and I just, of course, too lazy. Um, I just assigned some sort of event to that. So set red. And let's say that instead of, you know, there we go. You know, uh, yep, I don't need any of this. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do a little bit more manual. Um, so essentially what I'm gonna do is just copy down this code down here and say like I'm just gonna I'm gonna set it manually so the user doesn't actually need to go through the whole dialogue process which is I guess the whole point of this video but anyway you don't need to do that whole dialogue box if you don't want to this is I'm just giving some a couple alternatives here so <clears throat> oh wait I didn't actually add it to the yeah okay top Panel dot add. Uh, what the hell did I call it? I called it set red. There we are. Perfect. So, so now I have two buttons up here. I have change to red and change colors. So this is going to bring up a color chooser that you already know about and change the red. So if I click that, it sets it automatically. So you can actually um, assign colors uh, manually. But if you're too lazy to do so, you can just do a J color chooser, which is what I just displayed here. Um, so the source code is gonna <coughs> the source code is gonna be in the uh, uh, comment, not the comments, the description below. If you learn something or have any uh, questions, um, well, if you learn something, leave a like because that's always appreciated. If you have any questions about J color choosers or just you know, programming in general or suggestions for future videos, then by all means, ask them in the comments because I will reply to them as fast as I can, you know. So, you know, once again, thank you for uh, watching this video. I really hope this actually helped if you were confused about J Color Choosers because actually, I, to be honest, I was a little bit confused with how the hell to actually bring one up in the first place so um yeah so uh hope to see you next time